Yeah, let's speak about results. <laughs> you know, results. Uh, many times when I went to all kinds of spiritual trainings and festivals and so on, the, the practical results of like, how does it look like? What am I actually looking for? Uh, when will I know when I got there? How can I reach there in the easiest way? That was completely not, not part of the conversation. A lot of it was about, uh, yeah, something will happen. It's really, really amazing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but what, what actually and how to get there? Do I need to analyze myself until I'm dead uh, and then I'll reach there? Uh, do I need to meditate for the, my entire life and then maybe I'll reach there? But n no one could even say, yeah, that's the way to go there. Because some said, yeah, meditate for all of these years. And ma but maybe it's not this lifetime. So we can't really... <laughs> can't really speak about results there or you know analyze yourself or jump in the place and scream throw rocks uh, and and each one can add their own fair share of of different practices and in balanced view I was amazed that from the very beginning I was heard I heard the results and I also heard that it's simple first of all complete mental and emotional stability is just the beginning for me that was crazy to hear that complete men mental and emotional stability is even possible for someone like m me with my moods and ups and downs and my history and the ideas I have about my future it was completely like what are you talking about people <laughs> complete mental and emotional stability not in this lifetime and that was my motivation to start the balance view training because I was so intrigued by what I saw and the results in people, complete mental and emotional stability, insight into the nature of reality, knowing what's, what's going on, uh, the ability to connect with others open-heartedly, the ability to know what are my strengths, gifts and talents and how to utilize them for the benefit of all. All of these things really, they were incredible to hear, but of course I was then like intrigued to know, can it work for someone like me? You know, with loads of negative thoughts and emotions, with different ups and downs. How can it apply to someone like me? And not just that, in my everyday life. Because that was also something I've never heard before. It was always about a special st setting, a special state, a special destination. Not the everyday life that can be enriched by recognizing our true uh, and beneficial nature. So... So the results are very important and to know that we can get the results, we don't need to hope for them that they will come at one special point in the future is very reassuring and this is what, that's what comes about when we gain confidence in our nature, our beneficial nature, always open and free like vast sky. To be introduced to it very directly we stop thinking for a moment. What remains? Openness, alertness, cognizance, the power to know. This is open intelligence or awareness. Open intelligence that is vast, vast like clear sky. Not limited in any way, not confined to a personal identity, an ego or whatever. Uh, it's always on, always available. And when we stop thinking, we recognize what's at the basis. And then thoughts and emotions come, what we call in balanced view, the appearances of open intelligence or the data streams, they come and we see that we have a choice. We can either emphasize the thoughts and emotions and the thinking and the, all the data streams, or we can rely on open intelligence, the solid basis, the stable basis. The first choice of relying on our thoughts and emotions, where, where did, what are the results of that <laughs> practice? Relying on our thoughts and emotions. The ups and downs of everyday life. Do you know that one? Mm -hmm. I'm happy, I'm not happy. Whoa, what's going on? Why is it there? Who? When? Why? How many times? <laughs> Do you know? Ping-ponging from... Uh, or table tennising <laughs> from uh, one experience to the next, always hoping to reach a, a better state, always hoping to reach a point in the future where we will have 
only positive data streams, like a shiny, beautiful picture that we can show to ourselves and others and say, wow, I've arrived, look, I don't have thoughts, or if I have thoughts, they're only really, really beautiful thoughts. Have you ever reached that state? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean. <laughs> Do you know anyone who reached that state? No. Okay, so why do we continue to do that? You see, it's like common sense. It's really to apply the common sense of every, every approach or area in our life. We don't apply it to the most fundamental education in the nature of our mind. Wh and why not? Due to so much information that is very misleading at the end of the day. Because if we don't see results in our everyday life due to our practices, it means that something in the practice doesn't work. It doesn't mean that our ego is too big or our mind is too uh, wild. It means that we need to find something that actually works and provides the results that I just spoke about. So you see, open intelligence is our birthright. It's not a destination. It's not like a weird special state that we need to like tune into and maybe reach there by lots of effort, certain kind of breathing and postures. We can do all of that, but it's not necessar necessary to make open intelligence come about because it's already the case. And that, when I heard that, when I was introduced to open intelligence, it gave me such great relief. And then I wanted, like I shared, to know how it can apply in my everyday life. And that's when I did the 12 empowerments because it really, that's the foundational course, really life-changing, that allowed me to see all the ways in which I avoid this instinctive recognition of simple, always-on, open intelligence. All my ideas that I accumulated, uh, that really, there's some, one of the main ideas, there's something flawed about me. Do you know that one? I'm incomplete, I'm broken, uh, because of the things I think. You know, taking negative data streams as an indication that there's something wrong with me. That's a, a very pervasive and perverted, can I say? Okay. <laughs> perverted uh, way of thinking. Thinking that due to our thoughts, there's something wrong with us. Because we have anger, ooh, <laughs> we have desire, we have sadness, we have uh, hope and fear and, and jealousy and envy. All of these things that we train ourselves due to the belief in the independent nature of data streams, we train ourselves to believe that, oh, we shouldn't feel that. And then life's purpose becomes managing that. Managing all of these thoughts and emotions, trying not to feel it, avoiding, replacing and indulging. And that robs us from all of this energy that is available, available to us to be of great benefit. Now once we introduce to that, once we practice it in short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times, the instinctive recognition of open intelligence becomes available to us all of the time. It's just obvious, like... The sun is obvious in, in the sky. I don't need to think about it. I don't need to analyze, why is the sun there? Is it because of my parents? <laughs> or because of my cat? When will it come back again? How can I make it stay there? Mm. You see, I immediately gone to the world of descriptions. The sun is there. <laughs> I just need to, to recognize it. And then it's obvious. Same with open intelligence. Always there. And that's the practice of short moments. We rest body and mind for short moments many times. We allow the current data stream, the current perception to be as it is, wild, normal, in between, no matter which, which perception you have, you can allow it to be as it is and enjoy the complete freedom and immediacy of perception. Recognizing that the data stream, whatever it is, is inseparable from open intelligence, the bright nature of our intelligence. Like the color blue is inseparable from the sky, like the sun and its rays are inseparable. They're not two. There's no need to mess around with anything. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, if you like to run in place and think that you'll reach somewhere, fine, carry on. I will not recommend it. I mean, it can be good exercise for the legs, but it can also be exhausting, <laughs> you see. So resting naturally as we are, activates all of this potency, allows us to use this energy for the benefit of all, in complete open-heartedness for everything and everyone. And this is what I, I discovered. When I started to 
practice open intelligence, I was like, I really felt after the empowerment, wow, how will I speak with other people? Everyone's like always focusing on their thoughts and emotions. How, how, how will I speak with my old friends? They will not understand me. They'll think I'm weird because I'm so shining and relaxed and I'm not into dramas anymore. And it took a bit of adjustment and it took also a bit resting naturally with all my ideas. And what I started to see that no matter what I was thinking and feeling, this open-hearted, open intelligence was available to me and is available to me. And that's the true place where I can relate to everyone and truly understand where they're coming from. See, I've just completed the 12 empowerments and then I saw, wow, n everyone's reifying, that's crazy. But then I took a, mo a short moment and I re realized, wow, I did it for 20 something years. It's not that far out. <laughs> I, I've been emphasizing data streams for so long and it brings humility and openness and true, true compassion, the fire of true compassion to know how to be with others, how to relate without making any divisions and then also deciding how you want to spend your time. That's inseparable from this open-hearted, open intelligence. But the understanding and compassion that comes about, they are uncontrived and that's very beautiful. That's very beautiful and, and connecting. I feel this openness uh, wherever I go. It starts with one short moment at a time. Doesn't al This morning I almost cried. Uh, I had tears of gratitude in my eyes, re listening to a participant share on Facebook, how they share like in half an hour, that in two years they receive all the results that I spoke about comparing to a lifetime of suffering. It brought tears to my eyes. I'm a man, I'm allowed to cry. <laughs> you know, all of these ideas that it's too much or too less, it's just the way it is. So if you want to cry, be my guest, I might join you. I if not, be my guest, I might join you as well. <laughs> Regardless, open intelligence is present. So you see, carry on without making open intelligence the nature of mind to any idea, any fixed idea. It should be stable. Stable meaning I don't have two sensitive data streams. That's not the case for anyone. <laughs> when we take a concept like stability and we assume that it's the balancing of negative and positive into some kind of a linear, flat state, that's very confusing because all day long we are trying to manage what we think and feel. And that's the potency of every data stream. That's the beneficial potency of each and every data stream. It allows us to see that no matter what it is, tiredness, illness, jealousy, envy, we have the mastery to know what to do. Having a snooze, entirely beneficial. <laughs> Sleeping more, taking care, you know, going to the doctor, considering everything from the vantage of open intelligence and not from the vantage of being stuck in the valley of descriptions where we are bombarded by thoughts, emotions, sensations, other experiences and we affirm our victimhood to these appearances, to data streams. But from open intelligence recognition, we are like on the highest mountain you can ever find in the entire universe. And we see everything clearly and we know what to do, we know where to place ourselves, we know what to pick that will actually serve the benefit of all. And the benefit of all includes also ourselves. Also ourselves, we are included in the benefit of all. So why to struggle <laughs> to read somewhere we, when we can enjoy all of the results of openness, stability, clarity in our everyday life right now, exactly as we are with the right support and the right method that activates all of these potencies in ourselves. <laughs>